For our first issue this week, prospective applicants for online gambling operations have bad news coming to them. Pagcor, the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, announced that it will stop the processing of license applications for online gambling. This follows newly elected President Rudy Duterte's proclamation that he is not in favor of online gambling. For more details, here's our correspondent, Damon Sayak. Online gambling has proliferated in recent years. This was what the newly appointed chairman of PAGOR, Andrea D. Domingo, said in a recent radio interview. Data shows that there has been a rise in the number of cafes equipped with computers running internet-based cards, table, video key, slot machine, and lottery-type games during the last six years. In June 2010, when former President Aquino took office, the number of e-bingo machines stood at 2,160. Six years later, this number has risen to 12,000. Internet gambling terminals, on the other hand, stood at 4,662 in 2010. Today, it has reached 7,000, while e-game cafes rose from 190 to 277. The shares of publicly listed gaming operator PhilWeb Corporation, one of the biggest in the country, declined as much as 32%. This is the lowest valuation of its shares in almost 14 months. PhilWeb operates 277 e-games outlets and 8,977 gaming terminals and it has over 90,000 members as of March. Another gaming operator, Leisure and Resorts World Corporation, fell by 8.9%, a five-month low for the company which holds the license for gaming enterprises in the Cagayan Special Economic Zone, Freeport. More from our news correspondent. Meanwhile, PAGCOR reported a surge in its revenues. Its income includes regulatory fees of licensed casinos and income share from other gaming activities like e-games, commercial bingo, and poker. As of the end of March of this year, PAGCOR registered an income of 446 million pesos. The agency also disclosed that it has exceeded its target of 10.22 billion pesos in the first three months of the year alone from a stronger gaming income. The total income of PAGCOR in the first quarter of the year reached 11.55 billion pesos, 13.4% higher compared to the same period last year, which stood at 10.18 billion pesos. Gaming income accounts for 90% of the annual revenues of PAGCOR. It grew by 32% year-on-year to 11.08 billion pesos, higher by 10%. Just recently, President Duterte issued a stern order to PAGCOR Chairman Andrea Domingo to cancel sometime soon the licenses given to online casinos because these have proliferated significantly across the country in recent years. <laughs> 